Let's see if this works. Oh, yes. Let's see. Not color grading, not lighting, speed ramp. Here we go. Download. Authorized use warning. My commands will not work for you. All right. What the. Oh, it's just Peter. Relax, Otis. Gosh. What's up, Pete? Listen, you can totally use Otis. Uh, just this one time is uh, totally fine. Right? You can, as long as you plug Anamorphia, we're good. Word of the wise, you drain the batteries like three, no wait, other. Wait, so wait, 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 no! Oh. oh, at least I got the speed ramp pack. Okay, first things first. What is a speed ramp? A speed ramp is basically like something that goes from either slow to fast or fast to slow and it's mostly used to like emphasize something and to make it like feel more epic than it actually is when it comes to my kind of b-roll sequences. So I thought we should take a look on some of my old clips that I've shot for most of my popular videos and then show you exactly how I would go about to slow those sequences down to make it feel like a really good, like epic uh, thing, you know, huh? Whoa. So the first clip that I thought I'd show you is a clip from the poker b-roll where Oscar is like reaching for the whiskey bottle and then opening the bottle, pouring it up into the glass. And this is one of the clips that I personally think is one of my best ever because I really like the dynamic motion in this clip. And if we look back at it like regular speed, it doesn't look that interesting. And you can see that if we were to like just include it as is, it would probably not grab your attention as much as it did in the poker b-roll. One of the first things that I want to do when I'm about to like do some speed ramps to my clips is that I mark the clip and then hit command R and this shows us the playback speed that a clip is playing back at. So right now it's playing back at 100%. And what we want to do is to slow things down when Oscar is reaching for the bottle. So Maybe like right here, we want to slow things down. So we're gonna make a cut in the speed and not the actual clip. So we're gonna make sure that clip is marked and then we're gonna hit Shift B. And as you can see right here, it is split by the playhead. And this basically gives us two different options. We can either speed up this first part so we can like try to set it at fast 200 but what we also can do is that we can slow down the second part and set it to 25 and as you can see like it slows down and gives us this really good effect when he grabs the bottle and if we go back to where we actually split the speed of the clip then you can see that there's a gray area covering that split and what this is is basically how smooth we want the speed ramp to be from 100% down to 25. You can see that if we drag this towards the split you can see that it plays back at 100% and then slows down smoothly into 25 but it takes this time to slow it down to 25. And if we drag this out, then we can get an even smoother speed ramp over the whole clip. So playing this back, it actually looks pretty good, but there's still like, we can't leave it at 25% because it's not gonna look as good as we want it to be if we just slow it down and then leave it as is and no more speed ramp. So what I wanna do is that I wanna have the first part to be at 100%. And then I want to have the slow motion to come in a little bit sooner. So somewhere around here, just as the bottle is like up from the ground, I want to add another speed ramp. So we're going to make sure that the clip is marked and then I'm going to hit shift B again. And we are going to choose slow 50% because I don't want to speed it up to 100% just yet because i want to see how fast the movement is that oscar is doing in the clip all right so let's scrub forward and right here i want to make another cut into the speed of the clip and then i want to change this to fast times two and see how it looks mm, looking good and then i'm gonna slow this down to 25 and right here somewhere i want to have a, another cut in the speed of the clip shift b 
then move forward to where it starts pouring the glass somewhere around here and then we're gonna hit shift b and choose fast 200 and see how it looks all right so as you can see like this speed ramp right here is going a little bit too fast i think it feels a little bit out of place so i want to slow it down to like 100 160 maybe and then i want to drag this gray area out so that it smoothens down the transition from 25 to 162 that we have right now and that looks really good and then i want to drag this part out and this part out so that we smoothen out the amount of time that it takes for the clip to go from 25 to 200. And let's see how it looks if we play it back. Something that I think is really important is to make the speed ramp as smooth as possible. For example, look at this clip again. You can see that it feels like it's moving really smooth in between the transitions. And that is because the gray area that we dragged out is something that we tried to time with the speed ramps that we were doing. But if we don't use those kind of like gray smooth transition areas, then it's gonna look like this. And then it's gonna feel really amateurish when you compare it to the final result that looks like this. Okay, so that clip looked really good. And I do think that the speed ramped feels like really uh, it emphasizes what is going on in the video and that is what i like with my speed ramps but how do you do smooth speed ramps when you have two clips and you want to make them feel like they're like joined together let me show you let's have a look on two clips from the office b-roll when he like flips through the papers and then throws it up because that is actually like a speed ramp into a second clip and also a whip pan transition so i'm gonna show you how that was done so looking through the raw clip you can see that the hand comes in scrolls through and then swipes up and then next clip swipes up grabs the paper but since this is shot in 100 fps we can slow this down to make it feel a lot more like intense with everything that is going on because just playing back in normal speed is gonna be way too fast and nobody's really gonna like understand what's going on but the first thing that i want to do is that i want to cut down the first clip so that we can time the whip pan transition with the second clip and somewhere about here should be all right and then we're gonna like trim down this clip to some kind of similar frame basically so somewhere around here and then play that back and see how it looks that looked really good when you got both clips like timing up so that the whip pan transition is super smooth without speed ramping it's gonna look even better when you add the speed ramping so what you want to do now is mark both clips and then you want to hit command r and then we're gonna look through again and as you can see like as soon as he starts flicking the papers that is where i want to slow things down so i'm gonna make sure that my playhead is right where i want to slow it down and then we're gonna mark the clip and then i'm gonna hit shift b and i'm gonna slow it down to 25 and then we're gonna adjust the gray area and drag it down to somewhere around there and right here I want another speed ramp and I actually do think it looks pretty good. So let's have a look and see how the transition oh, the transition looks. Oof, that is smooth. Speed ramping 101. I don't really know if you can do this kind of like speed ramping in Adobe Premiere, but if you're using Final Cut Pro, then this technique is definitely something I recommend you to try out because it looks so incredibly good when you're working with speed ramps and when you're like trying to mix and match different speeds of the clips that you've shot. And you don't always have to play it back at 100 or at 20% or at 25% because try to like play around and see what actually fits the footage that you've shot, the video that you're about to produce the best because that is gonna give you the best result for your B-roll sequences or cinematic sequences. I, I don't know, should we, uh, let's unite and call them 
cinematic sequences. I think that uh, that is gonna be the best one. And uh, yeah, that's basically how I do my speed rant. And uh, if you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up because uh, it does help a lot. So thank you so much. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, that would be highly appreciated as well. And uh, back with and 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 and. Oh, nej. Uh, say bara så här då. Peter från Sverige. Out. No, it's not. Hey. Hey. Oh.